Everyone knows that Joker, the one that can't resist an April Fool's prank or loves winding people up with a fanciful story. It's time to look at how and why people lie. So why do we lie? Believe it or not, there is actually research that looks into why and how humans lie. One possible explanation is that lying is tied with our self-esteem. As soon as someone's self-esteem is threatened, they begin to tell bigger and more complicated lies. I once played in a band and we played at Glastonbury. Lie! The other main reason humans lie is to protect ourselves or someone we know from something bad happening, or to protect privacy. Hey? Nah, I don't know where Karen is. Lie! As humans, we also deceive ourselves. Experiments show people lie without realising. They only see their lies when they watch a recording of themselves. Not me though, everything I've said is true. But do people always lie the same way? Well, no. People lie more online than they do face to face. In an experiment, people were found to lie more often in an email exchange than an online messenger conversation, and both more than face to face. And what about online dating? Yep, we lie there too, with women lying slightly more than men. However, men lie more than women in games with a small monetary reward. But when the stakes are increased, men and women lie the same amount. And teenagers? Yep, research shows they lie more than university students or adults. Or maybe they're just more honest about their lying. And now, four fast facts about spotting a liar. One experiment has shown that different types of hand gestures may be the way to spot liars. Truth tellers use rhythmic gestures and liars speech prompting gestures. One tactic that might trip up lies is by getting them to tell their story in reverse. The brain effort required to invent a story in reverse is far higher than Ford's. A third way to tell a liar? Get them to draw a picture. Liars generally don't prepare for that, so can find it tough to draw their story. And finally, the old myth about liars avoiding eye contact is not true. In fact, too much eye contact may be a giveaway as the liar looks to see if you're believing their story. Want to find out more about honesty and lying? Check out our website where we have some links. And we'll see you right back here next week.